Thanks for checking out this brief two and a half minute clip. We're going to show you how Kion's organizational chart feature helps you to visualize your entire public cloud estate across the three major cloud providers, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. So one of the key aspects within the Kion application is this notion of an organizational chart. This is a foundational component designed to reflect your overall cloud hierarchy, spanning AWS, Azure, and Google across their various fabrics and any number of payers, tenants, or organizations that you might have. There's no limit to the depth or breadth of this chart, and it's comprised of two main components, OUs and projects. OUs act as containers for other OUs, projects, funding, and policy, and then the projects are the smallest unit of organization, and this is where the cloud accounts live. So the overall hierarchy that is built here is designed to do a few things. First, to give you a real-time view of your cloud presence across the pillars of governance that Kion addresses, and secondly, help you determine the pathways and groupings for fund allocation, account baselining, policy and compliance inheritance, and identity and access control. So here at the very top of the organization, you see company A, and as you can see, we have this notion of cloud rules. Cloud rules, while a Kion native concept, are a collection of cloud-specific resources, including policies, templates, shared resources, compliance standards, and webhooks that can be applied to cloud accounts in a managed and automated way. So here at the highest level of the organization, we have a company-wide policy limiting cloud access to within the US regions, and this might be part of what an organization would consider their non-negotiables. So as you can see that the cloud rules get inherited at each level, and as you get down to various parts of the organization that perform different functions, such as the biomedical research OU, there may be additional policies that need to be applied. So as you can see here, the biomedical research OU inherits policies from above, and then also has local cloud rules such as restricting non-HIPAA approved services. Now, if we were to dive a little deeper into the biomedical research OU, we see a couple more OUs and then three projects under asthma research. And once again, you'll notice that all three projects inherit the rules from above, but the production project also has one to restrict SKUs and EC2 instances to ones that are less than $2 an hour. So cloud rules are designed to be flexible enough to enforce both policy, compliance, cost, and account baselining. Also, there are four viewing options for the org chart. We are currently in the policy view, but you can also switch to a compliance view, a financial view, and also a spend view. The compliance view provides a score indicating your current security posture against the security scans you have in place and the findings that we're, they're generating. The financial view provides quick financial visibility across your organization and the funds that you've allocated for your cloud spend. And here you can see the current state of planned, spent, and allocated funding amounts across the board. If you have any questions about how Kion can help you have a better public cloud experience, or you'd like to see a demo tailored to your environment and use case, please email us at info at or visit our website, www.kion.io.